Good man. Thank you, sir. Now, when, if I could use you for just one more thing. If you would uh, just grab me from behind as, as usual. Uh, yeah. Now, um, obviously we all know this one right now. So, when you make someone fall, when you bring them to the ground, whether it's with this move or you just hit them enough times to trip them, whatever, uh, or you get up off the ground after grappling, don't let go of any kind of extended limb that you have. Keep control of it. You will keep them from being able to rise as easily. You keep them on the ground. Good. And do not go on the ground unless you absolutely have to. I know we spend a lot of time on grappling, and it's a wonderful skill to know. However, you never know when his buddy's going to run around the corner with a brick in his hand. And you cannot fight two people on the ground. At least I can't. Not yet. Um, you want to stay on your feet as much as possible, and you will hit them with your heel. Do not allow them to rise. Hurt them to a point where you can safely disengage. Just because you made them fall, don't assume that you can now escape. You know, if you just, you can rise. Thank you, sir. Yes. Now, just because you made them fall, does not mean that they will not be able to just get bounced right back up and chase after you. You know, make sure that they are disabled. If you do not know what you're doing, you will start breathing irregularly, you'll become quickly tired. So it's very important when you get to that point to push past it, because that's the point where the real fight will actually be happening. And fights shouldn't last more than 10 seconds per person. So if you are feeling exhausted from this, that is the point. Please. More! 